A well-known plastic surgeon was found dead in his Miami home in an apparent suicide, and some are claiming that the show The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt had something to do with it. Now, the plastic surgeon in question is named Dr. Franf, who resizes rich women's toenails. Now, this is the, the guy in the show. In the show, Yes. Yeah. Who resizes rich women's toenails and promises to reduce the main character's distinct scream lines. The plastic surgeon who just uh, committed suicide is actually Dr. Frederick Brandt. Uh, Brandt had been devastated by Short's character and was suffering from depression. They're referring to Martin Short in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I was so shocked when I saw this today because I'm, I'm in the middle of watching the show. I've already seen the episode with this. And I, I don't know how many people would even get that they were parroting someone. Yeah. I had no idea that the character who seemed ridiculous at the time was actually a, a sort of satire of a particular person. And, I mean, as we're going to get into, like, I totally think that you should be free to satirize or parody pr pretty much anyone. Um, and so I would not be one to say that Martin Short should feel responsible in any way, but I'm sure that he feels absolutely horrendous after this, that he yeah. was involved in it in any way. Even if it is someone who already had some depression problems, perhaps mental illness, that sort of thing, you can't help as a human but feel responsible. Yeah, I, it's a scary situation because not everyone has thick skin. And if you're already dealing with depression or some sort of mental illness, you know, any type of bullying or any type of roasting or any type mm. of negative attention could set you off the edge but or throw you off the edge. But the reality is you can't censor speech yeah. and you can't tell people what they can and can't parody because of fear that someone might take their own lives. I don't think that this guy... First of all, these are all allegations. We don't know why he took We don't life. know. This is coming from right. friends. This is coming from friends who say that he was devastated over the show. But, you, again, you can't stop any type of creative expression out of fear that someone might harm themselves, yeah. right? And, look, despite all the terrible things that people say on the Internet, I don't like the idea of censoring speech on the Internet because people have thin skin and they get their feelings hurt, yeah. right? It's ultimately up to you to either grow thick skin or find another way to cope with it. And, and so I'm not telling you yeah. guys that I think, oh, this guy should have just coped with it. He obviously had some issues. Yeah. Um, I think mental health care is the, the best way to deal with this kind of stuff. 